<laughs> so you were interviewing, <laughs> you were interviewing what you, you, <laughs> you were interviewing. So perfect, you were interviewing so from the top. Guy, right over, can you tell me which one it was? Old men have but which one is it? Which one's the okay, one that's the you have shocking the time one? Stamp? So this was uh, <laughs> on Easter. Yeah. Trans Visibility Day. Yes. And yes. I'm asking all the models, uh -huh. hey, which one are you celebrating today? And uh, I've interviewed a lot of models. This was by far and away the most shocking one. Go ahead. Okay. Well, to me. Oh, I, we all see them. And I uh, am supportive. Okay. I am. What are you celebrating this year? Easter or Transgender Day of Visibility? I'm celebrating both. Because I am both Christian and transgender. And what? What do you mean you're transgender? <laughs> you're transgender? Mm -hmm. Beautiful girl. What do you mean? Thanks. You oh. were born a man? I was born a child. Yeah. With a male body, yes. And then I transitioned later on. I banged that up. guy! Oh Shush. <laughs> you don't, you're giving me zero All around us, vibes. almost like it doesn't matter. Well, what do trans right? people really look like? There's tons of us that you don't... You Not like you, like, sweetheart. Carmen, hold on. Let's back up a second here. <laughs> you were born with male body parts. Yes. Boy, this is and blowing your give, mind. Blowing was, my mind. Yeah. I see you. So walk us through your transition. Well, I I don't know. What do you mean? Like I my whole life story don't know. right now. At I still have volleyball. my penis. It's not still here. But you want to know what it's I have questionable, but can you, please, yeah. can you please can you please pause that? Listen to this part. Just listen to this part right here. I hooked up with that guy. Not everything, but... I'm not going to talk about that. Just walk that. us through the transition. Yeah, so I transitioned when I was 25 years old. I mean, I I don't know. I became a model at 26. Um, I was the first trans model at Elite Models New York. I was photographed by Stephen Mizell twice. I mean, I've done a lot of great things. Yeah. Wow. I'm so also like an advocate. I do like trans outreach. Uh, I try to inspire the girls to like own who they are. And like, not be afraid. Don't hide it from anyone. There's no need to trick nobody. People are gonna want to fuck you regardless. Like, oh, it's right. not that serious. Well, let me tell you something. We interviewed well, well, yeah. hundred plus models, all yeah. gorgeous, and even the team, the production team, all the guys. When she walked in, they were like, "Oh, we got a bad one. We got." Oh, I was like, "Yeah." They were even Malik, who's listening right now, is like, "But I'd still do it." But, like, but you know what? It was don't insane. Don't throw Malik under the bus. Yeah, He's got a girlfriend. But, but this guy. girlfriend was there. Yeah, why are you so funny? But, let, but let's, 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 be, uh, let's 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 be honest. Talking about this Malik. at twenty five years old. Yeah. He decided to become years. a took okay. her fifteen okay. years. By the way, to look kudos. I don't know. Did, did she mention that when when she hooks up with dude, like dude, she lets them know. Like, listen, she I said was she. A dude. How about this? Okay. How about this? Yeah. Because I asked some question to all the models. Would you rather date a hardcore MAGA conservative Trump guy or a progressive liberal? You know. Bernie bro oh and my. made them answer the question. She goes, oh, my boyfriend is like the biggest Trump supporter MAGA she guy said ever. She, he, she, she said he, that. Yeah. I go, what the? F but it you, was insane. But you know, what I respect, oh you, know, you know, somebody's so laughing. The point is her boyfriend is but the you, biggest you know, Trump and what, what, what ethnicity is Carmen? Latina? She's Latina. Guess what? Shout out to, because when it comes to transgenders, that I give them because look at look at what he she look at that white guys are the laziest trend they just put on a wig and they go it's yeah. ma'am your balls are showing Jonathan like at <laughs> least Jonathan. look at this look at, like yeah. she fooled oh, all yeah. of By you the way, shout and out I, to Tony in the back recruiting yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> also very key thing she you, said sir. in her, her description of her process she was 25 years Thank old. You. Thank you. She yeah. was 25 years old. Not 15, old. not 12. And my experience in talking to adult transgender people, yeah. they talk about the requirement of time and of processing yep. who you are before you decide to make any decision. I can't disagree with that. I cannot disagree with that because that's a very good observation there, Chris, on the fact that the decision was made while he was 25 and then he wanted to be, you know, transition into whatever it is now. But it was made when he was 25 years old. That's different. I, that's a different, different than you make. seven. Yeah, yeah, different, very different yeah. than it is at seven. Gonna, thank you for letting me share this. We're discussing this and all this type of content today at 4 o'clock on the South Cap. All right, here we the go. The amount Gang. of traffic we're getting right now with Manect is unbelievable. Yesterday, I can't even tell you how many Manects came through yesterday for me. Great conversations. People booking 15-minute calls. Tom is about to cross 2,000 Manects. Okay, he'll be the first person to have 2,000 paid Manects uh, uh, there. I know Chris... Uh, is probably one of the fastest to respond on Manek. I think he's a 24-hour guy at 100% response back to answer. So if you have any questions today, if you disagree with me or agree with Tom or Vinny or Adam or Como, these are their QR codes, 
Ask him any question you want on Manek. There's a 95% chance you get a respond back. On Instagram, you get respond backs 5%. On LinkedIn, 5%. On Twitter, less than 10%. On Manect, there's a 90 to a 95% chance they're going to get back to you. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.